is Jim Green and I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks. I'm located in down east Maine, town of Harrington. Today's gun we're going to disassemble for cleaning is called the High Standard Duramatic. These pistols came out shortly after World War II and they're designed to be manufactured pretty easily. It's a nice little trap line gun, 22 rim fire. And as always, anytime you're going to disassemble a gun for cleaning, you want to make sure you have, it, uh, have the magazine out and make sure the gun's not loaded. So we'll pull the magazine out. Check the chamber. So let's disassemble this pistol. It's a pretty simple gun. The very first thing you want to do is you have the uh, barrel nut right here. We're going to remove the barrel. So let's take and lock the slide back. They're pretty simple to take apart. Very few tools needed. And there comes your barrel right off the gun. Take it off safe, slide the slide all the way forward and remove it. You'll have a pair of springs here. There's your firing pin. Your inside spring and outer spring. We'll set all this off to the side. All right. The next part you'll want to remove, you'll have a, a small screw down here, and there's one on the inside of the frame up here. Now this pistol, the way this thing was designed, your uh, grips are, a, are actually your magazine well, and that's the entire lower part of the gun. Remove that. Something to keep in mind, you want to be real careful and real cautious with when you're disassembling this gun. If you damage your grips, which are your magazine well too, they don't make them anymore. If you damage it, you're pretty much not going to have a gun anymore. Once you got your screws loose, just pull it right out of the bottom. Your trigger guard comes out the front. We'll set this off to the side. Your little barrel nut falls off. You can shake that little screw right out. Now as far as just standard stripping it down to clean, this is about as far as you really want to get. Uh, not necessarily take it any further apart than this unless you uh, have a gun that they used to use WD-40 in. WD-40 is not a good grade of gun oil. This stuff uh, congeals really bad and it's like thick and gravy and it glues the gun together. Which is what happened to this gun. That's why it was in the shop to get a good detail cleaning. So let's go ahead and take the rest of this pistol apart. And there's a roll pin that we want to uh, use a roll pin punch to remove. It's going to be right here in this side this groove right behind the safety. So you'll remove that roll pin first. Now what this roll pin does is it actually acts as a uh, stop for the screw that holds your little sear body in place. Now if you try to turn this screw down inside here without removing that pin, you're going to screw up the frame, you're going to mess up the gun. But that roll pin's got to come out first. And you can remove this screw. This little housing covers the sear. This is a striker fired gun. You'll have a little screw. Whoop, you'll have a little screw that goes inside that. Once that part's removed, the next piece we can go to is going to be your. Uh, Go ahead and get the sear out of the gun. So we'll pull the trigger. Okay. There's going to be a little roll pin right here. Let me get my pin punch. Or no, I'm sorry, not a roll pin, but a solid pin. This is the pivot point for your sear. So let's remove that one next. I've had several people ask me about this blue bench block right here. That's made by Wheeler Engineering. They're real handy to have if you're disassembling guns. You can get them from Brownells. Okay, now, that's a very tiny pin, so try not to lose it. <clears throat> Once you have that pin driven out, you hold your sear in place. Okay. 
Come on, come on, come on out of there, sweetie. That's supposed to just pop right out. There we go. I got a pride loose, and then what you'll do is you'll pull your sear out. And when you do, you'll notice your draw bar flops forward. That's your sear. And you'll pull this little plunger and spring out. Oops. And then your safety will just slide out. Next thing you can take out of the gun is you can drive this little cross pin here out to take out the trigger assembly, but first, there's one more roll pin right here on the top. You'll drive that down and remove your magazine release. So let's drive that out of the gun and get that magazine release out of there. Now once you have that roll pin driven out, you can hold the, hold the magazine catch there and pull your, pull your pin right here, pin punch. All right, we can take the magazine catch out. Let's work that loose there. Now this one can be a little stubborn. Some of these old guns can be hard-headed. There we go. There's your magazine catch, and there's a little spring right inside there, if you can see where I'm taking it out of. Now you can take the last part out, which is gonna be your trigger assembly and your draw bar. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is drive this pin, this little pin right here out, which is the pivot point for the trigger. Like I said, a lot of little tiny pins. Got to be very careful. That's why I always use this magnetic dish to keep those parts in place. I don't lose them. Now, once you've done, once you've got that pin drawn out, you pull out your little trigger assembly up through the frame. I'll get it curving forward. There we go. Now you can leave it like this if you'd like. But if you really want to take everything completely apart, you just give it a little twist and a pull and rotate, and your draw bar comes off the trigger. I'd leave that spring in place. I wouldn't take that spring off because you'll probably damage it. We're not going to take the ejector out. You can take that ejector out if you really had to replace it. It's held in place by another roll pin, which you can drive out right here. But really, I just leave it in there. And there's your high standard Duramatic, completely stripped all the way down to nothing. Nice and clean. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service farm repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a firearm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, code it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or calling the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.